Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Ah, this is a life. Just relaxing by my pool in my $3 million house. Where's Daisy? She's supposed to be bringing me lunch. How rude. She knows that I eat every day at 12 o'clock. Hey, Molly, what's up? I just got done with my Pilates class. That's nice, Daisy, but where is my lunch? Molly, what do I look like? Your butler? Please, why don't you call um Stapleton and ask him for a sandwich? He's our actual butler. Can't. Mom and Dad gave him the entire week off while they're in Hawaii on business. What? We have to deal with things ourselves? Are you serious right now? Totally. Isn't that rude? I don't wait on myself. That's what Stapleton is for. Ugh, our parents are so rude sometimes. I know, right? Uh, well, I'm going to get in the pool because it's like 90 today. It is so hot. Agreed, Molly. But I'm not in my swimsuit yet, so I'll be right back. Do you want to play Marco Polo? Yeah, in a minute, Molly. I have to do my hair perfectly for the pool. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You have to look like a fashionista no matter where you are. Ah, eh, Daisy, you took too long. Never mind. Uh, let's just go for a ride in my new car that Mom and Dad got me for my 16th birthday. They better buy me a brand new car for my 16th birthday. You already have a car. I know, but Molly, this one is so old. Daisy... This is almost a brand new sports car. Yeah, and I deserve a new one every year. Well, you do have a point. I mean, mom and dad can certainly afford it. Hmm, let me see. Where's my car? There's my car. Right where I left it. Um, I better go change my clothes first, though. Hurry up, Molly. If we're gonna go for a ride, I wanna get going. Fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, no. I wanna find something really cute to wear. La, 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 la. All my designer clothes are so adorable. I just have to decide which one I wanna wear. Oh, this is cute. I think I'm gonna wear this, but I'm not sure. I also have this. Nah, that looks too boring. Oh, this is perfect. I love this outfit. Plus, it's super hot, so I'm not gonna wear it. Your new sports car is amazing, Molly. But remember, don't drive too fast. Why don't you mind your own business, Daisy? Oh, boy. You can't even drive good, Molly. Oh, you're running your new car into the guardrail. It's fine, Daisy. Ugh, why do they make this bridge so narrow? How am I supposed to ever back out of here? Maybe if you paid attention in driver's ed, this wouldn't be such a big deal for you. It's not a big deal, okay? You really are the worst driver ever. Finally, maybe now we can go have some fun since you decided to get out of the driveway. All right, I'm trying my best to drive good. Well, Molly, maybe you should slow down. You're like all over the road. Molly, seriously. Okay, fine. I'll go a little bit slower. Go a lot slower, Molly. Well, I'm rich. Everybody should get out of the way of me. Well, they can't move their buildings, Molly. Creepers, creepers. No one's even out in town today. That's because it is so hot, Molly. No one wants to be out when it's 100 degrees. That's totally true. But you know what that means? We don't have to follow the 15 mile an hour speed limit. Are you serious, Molly? That seems dangerous. Nah, come on. Let's Let's crank it up a notch. Molly, be careful! Molly! Ah! I'm pulling up on the scene now. Yes, it appears it's a car accident with two girls. Uh, be ready at the emergency room. I'll be bringing them in. Oh my gosh, this doesn't look good. Girls, can you say anything? Girls, I'm a paramedic. I'm here to help you. Ah, where am I? I don't even know where I am right now. Oh my goodness. Everything's gonna be okay. Just just hang on. Ah, I don't feel so good. What happened to me? Uh, am, am I at the back of an ambulance? I don't even know what just happened. Oh, I feel so strange. What's going on? 
Why are we riding somewhere? I don't know. Molly, I'm scared. I'm scared too, Daisy. Something really awful happened to us. I know. My head really hurts. Mine does too. And my arms and legs hurt too. Don't worry about a thing. I'm here to help you. And the doctor will take good care of you, okay? What happened to me? I, I don't know what happened. You were in a car accident. Wait, what? I know, it's a little scary, but it looks like you're going to be okay. Can my sister be in the same room with me? Sure, I'll leave you on the stretcher and I'll put your sister over here, okay? Yeah, uh, that sounds good. Ugh, this is crazy. I can't believe I was in a car accident. I'm coming, yes. I, I know they were in an accident. Yeah, we're prepared here at the hospital. Are they talking about me? Oh, this is scary. Hi there, I'm Dr. Smith. The paramedic tells me that she came on scene and found you laying by your car. It appears you were in a very bad accident. Yeah, she told me that. I have a really bad headache. Oh my gosh, well, let me take a look in your eyes and make sure everything looks okay. I'm here with the sister. She says her name is Daisy. She thinks. Daisy? Molly, I, I can't see anything. It's like everything is black. Um, Daisy, that's because your eyes are closed. Oh yeah, that sort of makes sense. Both of you girls were in a very serious car accident. I'm gonna need an x-ray of both of your brains. My brain? Why did it fall out? Uh, not that I know of. I mean, since you're still talking and everything, it should still be inside your head, but there could be damage. Damage to my brain? Oh my god, I might turn into a zombie! Follow me. Can you push your own wheelchair? Yeah, I'm okay. Where do I go? Take a left and go right into the x-ray. Okay, I I'm in here. Okay, now what I need you to do is go inside the machine, and we're going to do a quick x-ray of your brain. Now, can you tell me what your name is? Yeah, it's Molly. Okay, can you tell me what your sister's name is? Uh, of course, her name is... Wait, what's her name again? Oh yeah, Daisy. Um, can you tell me where you live? Uh... Why don't I know where I live? Oh my gosh, it's exactly as I suspected. Your brain does have have some damage. What? Damage to my brain? Are you serious? I'm afraid so, Molly. Can you tell me who your parents are? What their phone numbers are? Wait, I have parents? I don't have parents. It's just me and Daisy. I'm sure you have parents. No, I don't think so. Wait a minute, maybe I do have parents. Why can't I not remember my address or my parents or anything Anything that's happened to me other than my sister Daisy? It's called amnesia. It's when you get a bonk on your head and you really can't remember anything. A lot of times people have something that jars their memory though. So eventually your memories will come back. It's just, there's no telling when. But I don't even know where I live. <sighs> well, let's ask your sister. Maybe she knows. Okay, will my brain ever heal? Oh yes, your brain is healthy, so it should heal. Just no telling how long the amnesia will last. We need to get you in a bed relaxing. Okay. Hi, Daisy. I'm Dr. Smith. Hi, Dr. Smith. My head really hurts. I bet it does. You and your sister Molly took quite a bonk when you came out of the car. Were you guys wearing your seatbelts? Of course we were. That's just silly. Well, apparently, your car, well, it was not a very good one. Are you kidding? Did you see that car? It's a sports car. It's worth $150,000. Well, the seatbelts didn't seem very safe since you were ejected from the car. Now, I have some short questions to ask you. Do you know where you live? Uh, yeah, sure. Wait a minute. No. I don't know where I live. Why don't I know where I live? Um, it's as I expected. You may have amnesia just like your sister. We'll have to take an x-ray to be sure. Do you know who your parents are? Uh, no. I don't remember anything except for the fact that Molly's my sister. Okay, well, let's get that x-ray. Why can't I remember anything? What's wrong with me? I can't remember anything. As I told you before, Molly, you have amnesia. Okay, well, I can actually remember that. I just don't like the answer. Uh, it's it's very common with head injuries. Well, not very common, but when you get a head in injury like you've had, it's pretty common. Oh, wow. This is the worst day of my life. I've heard that a lot. Why did you want to be a doctor if you have to hear that all the time? I ask myself that sometimes too, but the answer is, is I like helping people. And today, since I can't find anything else wrong with you and your sister, I'm going to be releasing you to the adoption center. What? The adoption center? Why? I'm sure we have a family. Well, since I can't get any contact information for you guys, it's just a temporary place for you to live until your parents find you and come forward for you. What if they never come forward for us? They will. All parents miss their kids, don't they? Yeah, I guess you're right. Now, I want you to take it easy. No swimming or running around too much. We have to let your brain heal. Yeah, I can't believe my brain is just broken right now. Not really broken. 
just needing rest and some healing. Now, you and your sisters take good care of yourself. Okay, can't believe I'm going to the adoption center. Crazy. Dizzy, can you believe this? The doctor says I have amnesia. Funny thing is, Molly, the doctor says I have amnesia too. Well, where do you think this adoption center is? I don't know, Molly, I'll Google it. I didn't even know this town. What is this? The doctor told me it's called Brookhaven. I think that's what he said. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get directions now. Okay, follow me, Molly. Good thing we remember each other, Daisy. Well, we'd really be alone in the world. I know, Molly. That would be so sad if we couldn't remember each other. Well, at least we have each other. Ow! I ran into the window! The doctor said that's normal. Your bandits will be off for a while. Well, here it is, the adoption center. Better get comfy until our memories come back. This place is kind of gross. Yeah, why are we even staying here? This place isn't nice at all. Like, they have two toys and one bed. And it's for babies. Seriously, where am I supposed to sleep? I would prefer a five-star hotel. This upstairs has nowhere to sleep at all. This is terrible. Well, at least we have the internet. What are you Googling? Well, as soon as this ridiculously slow, cheap computer gets moving, I'm uh, Googling how long kids usually stay in adoption centers because this place is totally not my style. Um, what's it say? Six years? Are you kidding me? No way. Well, maybe we'll remember who we are. Uh, 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 look up on Google how long it takes for, for someone to come out of amnesia. Sure, sure thing. Amnesia can last from months to years to forever. What? I'm not staying here forever. What are you, crazy? That's it, Daisy. We have no choice but to find some new parents. What about our old parents? Uh, I don't know who they even are. So I think we should take our chances getting adopted. You're probably right, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're finally adopting, Dan. I know. I just hope we can afford to feed them and everything. Of course we will. Um, with my three jobs and your four jobs, we should be fine. Besides, we're a family. We'll stick together. Yeah, you're right. We do all right. We always have a roof over our heads and food in our bellies. And we have love. That's all you really need. Exactly. Marley incoming. Look, there's some parents. Ooh, potential parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Ooh, Molly, she's wearing some whipped clothes. Daisy, so aren't you. That's like in fashion now. Yeah, true. She's probably very in fashion. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, actually, no, I've had these pants for like 20 years. <laughs> They're just very comfortable. And, well, I can't necessarily afford a lot of new clothes. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I think I used to go shopping all the time based upon the outfit I'm wearing. Me too. Something tells me, well, we're just awesomely fashionable. Yeah, exactly, Daisy. Oh, you guys are so cute. So, um, are you guys up for adoption? Uh, yeah, just today. Really? What happened to your last parents? Uh, you know, it's a long story, but we definitely need parents. Okay, well, I'm Laura. And I'm Dan. We're really nice people, and we were wondering, would you like us to adopt you? Absolutely. Let's get out of here. Have you seen this place? There's cobwebs. There's only one bed. Well, it looks pretty nice to me. It's terrible! Oh, this place is terrible. Let's go. Wait, is this your car? Surely this can't be your car. Yup, I've had it since I was 16. I do all the maintenance on it myself. Oh, so it's a vintage car. I guess that's pretty cool. Come on, Daisy. Molly, I forgot my purse. Duh. Okay, show us our new mansion. I bet it's got 10 bedrooms for us to choose from. And 70 bathrooms. Molly, that's just ridiculous. But you're probably right. These people are probably awesome. Have tons of money and a huge mansion. Oh, man. The car's not working right. Uh, I thought you said you fixed it. This isn't a very good vintage car. Well, it's the only car we have. It'll be okay, Dan. Just put some more gas in it. I think the gas is leaking out. Oh, like I can afford to put gas and just for it to leak out onto the ground. I think they're pranking us right now, Molly. I don't think they're actually this poor. Yeah, well, I think that they're just trying to not spoil us. They'll learn real quick that we are spoiled. Exactly. Okay, we're off. Oh, look, a food truck. <laughs> How cool. Are we stopping for like a hamburger or something? Uh, no, this this is our house. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious, Dad. <laughs> So, how many of these food trucks do you own? How much does it make you a month? Uh, I, I don't own any food trucks. I'm a busboy at the restaurant. Well, that's one of my jobs. And I'm a waitress at the restaurant. Um, okay, but seriously? You live in here? Yeah, it's really nice when you go inside. It's a simple life, but we like it. 
and we can afford it. Um, I'm not staying here. Uh, no, wait. Um, you need to buy us a mansion because this house is not where I'm going to live. But we can't afford a mansion. We can only afford this. Well, let's just go inside. Maybe it's like a mansion inside. Um, yeah, no. It's definitely not. Ooh, look at this. This is kind of cool. Where's this go? Ah, I can't climb the ladder. Ah, ah, why can't I climb the ladder? Because, Marty, you've never climbed a ladder before, so you can't even figure it out. Oh my gosh, you're right. Um, so this is it? Where, where's the bedroom? I think that's the bedroom, Marty. We don't have to share a bed, do we? Yeah, we have to share a room, too, by the looks. The couch bowl's out, so your mom and I will stay there, and you girls can have the bedroom. This isn't a bedroom! It doesn't have four walls and a door! Well, uh, I could build one maybe next weekend when I can afford the supplies. Ah! This is my worst nightmare! I can't live here! Marty, I, I think we might have been rich before we had amnesia. I think you're right! I think this is gonna be, like, horrible! I'm not staying here! Oh, I'm really sorry we don't have a lot of money, but we promise to be kind to you and love you. We always have food and the roof doesn't leak. Well, if the roof doesn't leak, it must be great. Um, what would you guys like for dinner? I'm really good at cooking and cleaning up. That's my job. Yeah, I know. You're a bus boy, I remember. Maybe they have some Evian water. I'm so thirsty. What? Reese's and Coca-Cola? This stuff is horrible for you. Mm, I'm so hungry, I kind of don't care. Mm. Mighty pizza? Yuck. All we eat is caviar. Oh, I could never afford that. Besides, caviar is disgusting. She kind of has a point, Daisy. This pizza is delicious. Really, Mighty pizza? Try it for yourself. Oh, that's from Uncle Tony's down in the plaza. He makes the best pizza ever. Mm. This isn't so bad. Ha. <sighs> Seriously, Molly? You've forgotten who you are already. No, not already. I've forgotten who I was since the accident. So I'm just trying to blend in. Hmm. This is delicious. Well, my head hurts. Oh, honey, are you okay? Yeah, Mom, I think I'll be okay, but I just need to, like, kick back and relax. Sure. Um, maybe I could turn on something funny on the computer. Wait. Where's the TV? Um, well, we could turn on the TV, but I only get a couple of channels because I don't have cable. You don't have cable? Okay, fine. Let's see what's on. I surely cannot stay here. This is going to be terrible. Hey, Daisy, you want a cheeseburger? No, we want to get out of here, but the door is broken. Fine. Okay, the door finally opened. Daisy! Daisy! I can't believe this is my life. I was adopted by poor people. <laughs> Daisy, seriously, they seem really nice. And they also seem to really care about us. Who cares if we live in this thing? Molly, it's literally a tin can. I know, Daisy, but it's our tin can. With two parents who really care about us. Well, okay, I guess we can make the best of it. Great, come on in. Girls, is everything okay? Yeah, girls, is everything okay? Yeah, mom and dad, we're sorry we were acting like brats, but I think we're used to more of a witch lifestyle. But we know that you care about us so much, so we're gonna try our best to be good. That's the spirit. We do care about you girls so much. Now, who wants a family game night? I do! I do! Okay, um, I have to go down to the library and borrow the game. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll help you, Dan. You girls get settled in, okay? And we'll come back with, like, five games for game night. You guys don't own your own games? No, we borrow them from the library. Be back in about ten minutes. Okay! Daisy, this place is really starting to grow on me. I know what you mean, Molly. Our parents are really nice. They totally are. Who's honking their horn out front? Oh my gosh! Mom? Dad? Oh my gosh, my my memories come back. Mine too. And we we're, we're rich. Oh my gosh, we're totally rich. Hey mom, hey dad. What is going on here? Ugh, why do you smell like pizza? Um, because I ate pizza. Molly, everyone knows that all we eat is caviar. So much better for you. Well, that and organic vegetables only. But this had pepperoni on it. It was delicious. What's this crazy talk? Now, what happened? They told us you got in an accident and you were at the adoption center, but then the address for you was this food truck? Maybe that's why she smells like pizza, dear. I don't know, but she needs a shower as soon as we get home. No, uh, these nice people adopted us. Well, that's ridiculous. We're your parents. Now get in the limo. It's time to go home. Yeah, you're probably right. Come on, Daisy. Um, and since you wrecked your car, we'll stop and get you a new one on the way home. Okay, can I get a red one this time? Yeah, but we're only spending 150,000, not 175. But what if the red is 175? Okay, then, yeah, you can totally have it. Let's go, everybody. Everybody in? I'm coming, Jeepers. I forgot my puss. I still have a little bit of amnesia, I guess. See you later, weird food truck. You know, 
I know that I'm rich and everything, Mom, but our new parents who are poor are kind of nice. I'm sure they were, honey, but come on, we have to go home. Tomorrow, Dad and I have to pack for our trip to Brazil. Are we going? No, you guys are staying home, unfortunately. Another business trip. Oh, man. Turn around! Why? Why? Ah! ah, ah. I forgot something back in the house. Just to turn around. Okay, fine. But it better be a million dollars if you want me to go back to that place. It stunk so bad. I think I saw a cockroach. It wasn't a cockroach there, Dad. Okay, let's go back. Try to get all your stuff, though. I don't ever want to drive down that street again. Make it quick, Molly. Okay, I'll make it super quick. I think. Mom! Dad! Oh, hey, Molly. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, wh what are you doing here? Um, I came back to tell you something. Oh, um, I'm glad your parents came back for you. Me too, even though we're really sad that you guys can't be our daughters. Look, you guys are so nice. You're like the nicest people ever. I'm thankful that I had this time with you. It's taught me a lot, and I want you to have this. A, a million dollars? Are you serious? Yeah, it's... Just a little bit of something to help you. Oh my gosh, that money could change our life. Yeah, but we're not interested in your money. Wait, what? But you guys, it'll change your life. We know, but we weren't in this for the money. Wait a minute, you knew that we were rich? I had a feeling, but I don't care about money. I just care about the people that I love. And I'm sad that you guys can't be a part of our family. Well, but you really don't want the money? Well, your money's not everything. Okay, yeah, but it buys you some really cool clothes and, and shoes and, and, and a car that actually runs. Yeah, those are all true, but we didn't care about you just because you have money. Oh. All we have is one request. Yeah, Molly, just one. What is it? Name it. We really wish that you and Daisy would come visit us sometimes. Really? We'd love to. Great. That makes us so happy because we're really going to miss you girls. Yeah, we could stop by like every Saturday if you want. We could have game night. That sounds like a great idea. Okay, well, see you later, second mom and dad. See you later, Molly. Make sure you get good grades and behave in school. Oh, dear. You're still talking like you're her dad. I am her second dad. <laughs> Bye, second mom. Bye, second dad. Bye. Uh, dad, the door won't open again. Oh, man. Add that to my fix-it list. Hey, children. Welcome to Jane's Adoption Center. You all are going to get adopted, right? My name is Hazel, your caretaker here. Today is the day parents come in and bring you all to your new homes. Sit down on the chairs so the parents can come choose who they want. Oh my gosh, I hope I get new parents today. You're definitely not to get gonna get a new parent because you're so old. They're just gonna adopt the babies. Molly, don't listen to her. She's just a bully. Yeah, I know, but she's right. I've been at the adoption center so long. I'm bigger than the rest of the kids. Even you, Daisy. It's gonna be okay, Molly, I promise. I hope so. Hey, kids. I'm Dad, and this is Mom. You guys all deserve a home. So, we're looking to adopt a 11 kids. Can you guys believe it? Um, well, are you sure you can handle that? 11 kids is pretty much a ton of kids. That's crazy. Yeah, we're millionaires. <laughs> They'll have everything they ever wanted. Well, there's 12 kids here. One is going to have to stay behind. Oh no, it's gonna be me. They're gonna make me stay behind. Let's let the kids decide who to vote out of the group. Oh no, please don't pick me. Please, please. Oh my gosh, I have to actually pick one of these kids? This is horrible. I'm not doing this. Nope, I'm not even choosing. I'm not choosing. Sorry, Pink Ranger Sophie, but we can't take you with us. Good luck. I'm sure other parents will come to adopt you. Let's go do some paperwork. Kids, start backing your bags. Oh my gosh, Daisy. We, 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 we got adopted. Molly, I can't believe it. Seriously, we've waited so long for this. Come on, we have to pack our bags quick. Where's my bag? Okay, wait, I, I see a toy. I definitely want to pack that. Got it. Marty, take it to the suitcase, hurry. We only have a few seconds left. How can we have all these germs around us? Because, Molly, um, we've been staying in an orphanage and there's just like a ton of germs here. Oh my gosh, it's insane. Okay, this is a baby rattle. I'm too big for a baby rattle, but I'm just gonna pack it for the babies. Most of these toys are actually for babies. That's all of our stuff. I'm excited to go to a new home. Me too. I love the idea of having a family. I know, this is awesome. We're gonna be rich too. Whoa. 
Rich and had parents? This is too much to even think about. I'll miss you kids, but I'm sure I'll see you soon, right? Oh, Hazel, don't cry. It's gonna be okay. Aren't you glad we finally got homes? And look at this place. Oh, let me in. I don't want to be left behind. Holy guacam... There's an upstairs to this? Holy cow. Wait, why does this seem like this is owned by the FBI or something? <laughs> It's kind of weird. Oh, well, at least I have parents. Woohoo, this place is amazing. I'm gonna go downstairs and watch like Netflix or something. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is amazing. I never rode in a, in a car that was this luxurious. Yeah, tell me about it. This is amazing. Welcome to your new home. We decided to set you up a scavenger hunt so you can explore the house. Really? Oh, you guys are super amazing. I know, thank you. <laughs> Find 10 lollipops. Plops, plops. <laughs> that is funny, huh? I meant pops. Place to run the house, please. Ten lollipops. I mean pops. Ooh, found one. Okay, I found one. I found one too, Molly. There's lollipops. I mean pops everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully there's not one in the toilet. Plop, plop. <laughs> Where are all the lollipops? Oh my gosh, guys. We only have eight found. We need to find two more. I keep looking in the bathrooms. <laughs> hey, what? One could be in there. You don't know. Found one. Yes, guys, I actually found two of the lollipops. That's awesome. Great job on finding all the lollies. Thanks, new dad. This house is so big and cool. I'm so happy we're here. Me too. Where's my sister? Am I here, Molly? Oh my God, I love this house. It's so beautiful. And our parents did a lollipop scavenger hunt. Anything for you, kids. Now, what do you want for dinner? Pizza! I love pizza. Pizza's my favorite. Please, please, please. Well, you could vote for pizza if you want. I did. I totally did. Okay, so it looks like pizza's won the vote. Hooray! This is the best house ever, Daisy. We have the best family in the entire world. I can only imagine what Christmas is gonna be like. I'll order a pizza right away. Awesome, I'll go wait in the dining room. Actually, maybe I'll go play in the living room. Looks like the pizzas are here already. Let me hand them out. Seriously, that's the quickest pizza place in the entire world. Eat up, everybody. Mm. This pizza's delicious. Oh my gosh, this girl's a troublemaker. Did you guys see that? She was literally um, trying to hit the TV with a bat. Oh, what just happened to the power? Oh my gosh, it looks like there's a breaking news um, report gonna happen in a, what? Like, I don't know, you're in the way, I can't see. Look at the TV. Oh my gosh, let's see what's happening. I could, but the sister of mine is stand. Get out in front of the TV, please. We're trying to see the breaking news. <sighs> Well, I guess it's not that important. I'll just hang out over here. Emergency broadcast. Emergency broadcast. Kidnappers are on the loose. Kidnappers are on the loose. What? Oh my gosh. Th 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 that's horrible. Well, I got the power to work again. That's good news, right? Yeah, except for there's kidnappers in Brookhaven. Oh no, I'm scared. What if they come after us? Don't worry. Our house is really secure. Yeah, kids, don't worry. We can all sleep in the parents' bedroom tonight. I'll put out sleeping bags just so you guys feel safe on your first night at home. Okay, kids, it's bedtime. Go to sleep, please. I'm too scared to sleep. Whoa, your bedroom's amazing. Look at this bathroom. Holy guacamole. Hey, do you mind? I'm using the bathroom. Oh, sorry. There's not really a door on it. Okay, everybody. Good night. Good night. Uh, sorry, Mom and Dad. You have to sleep in a sleeping bag on the floor. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting tired. Oh. Huh. Huh. What? What's going on? Guys, uh, 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 are you awake? I am now. Cheapers. Yeah, I'm awake. We heard a creaking noise. Ah, uh, this house is probably just old. It's a very old estate, you know. And it might probably be dad going to the bathroom or something. I don't know, but I'm, I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Oh my god! It, 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 what is it? Wait a minute, who are you? Oh, it's the kidnappers from the news! Ah! Really? That's the kidnapper? It kind of looks like the, de the demons to me. Oh my gosh, he's gone! <laughs> ah no, the demon's not gone! Run! Ah, it's right behind me! Ah! Okay, I'm gonna go hide in the tub. That'll be a good place, right? Molly, no! Everybody knows the tub is insane! Well, I can't even get in the tub! Ah! It's behind me! Ah! Molly, just keep moving! I am, but this thing is so creepy! <laughs> oh my gosh! Molly, you have a bag! I do? Yeah, Molly, get it out! You might need it! Okay, here we go! Where is this thing? I'll knock him upside its head! You evil demon, you! Ah! Uh, okay, I'm gonna get him! Uh, uh, uh. Leave, my, leave my sister alone! Get away from her! Get away! 
Hey! Marty Hooey! He's hurting your health! Don't let him get you! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! I'm hiding in the shower. It seems like a very reasonable place to hide. Oh my god. Ah, he can get in here! Bye! He just caught me on fire and I can't get out! Ah! Molly, run! Your health is almost gone! Holy guacamole! I might need a band-aid! Ah! Molly Hooey, run! I'm trying to, but this... This demon is really after me. Oh my God, I don't know about our new house anymore. It doesn't seem very safe. I know, Miley, right? But I don't think anywhere I'm book haven safe. Hey guys, <laughs> are you all right? I heard some noise. Oh, why are you hitting me with the bat? That's rude. You need to sit and time out. Dad, we were attacked by, by kidnappers that look like a demon. Oh no. Well, it seems like they're not here now. And you probably were imagining it. Now let's get back to sleep. Ali, I think we need to go back to the orphanage. It seems safe for them. Just like I thought. He doesn't believe us. Yeah, I didn't think he would. Well, there's nothing we can do. I mean, he's our dad now. Yeah, let's just try to go to sleep. Good idea, everybody. In the morning, we can figure out what to do. Hey guys, why don't you have some fun in the park? Mom, something crazy is going on here. Okay, we're just gonna go get you guys some food. Don't leave the park though. But mom, I'm trying to tell you something. I have to go get food now, bye. What? Okay, they don't wanna hear that the kidnappers were actually in our house last night. But wee, this is really fun. Wait, don't get distracted, Molly. You have to keep everybody safe. Whoa, look at this cave. Ah, there's an evil clown in there. Holy guacamole! Ah, uh, guys, do not go in that cave. If you were at Brookhaven Park, there is a cave here, and literally, there's an evil clown inside of it! Holy, oh my god! <laughs> hey, kids, do you want a million Robux? <laughs> um, stranger danger! Stranger danger! Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, it's okay! My dad owns Roblox! <laughs> Sounds good enough to me. Let's go, guys. Yeah! <laughs> Come with me! I'm a happy clown. Um, guys, no. Daisy, don't do this. But he's giving away free Robux, Molly. Daisy! Oh, my gosh. Why are you following him? He's obviously evil. Well, then how come he gave us 15 Robux? Right down here. Jump! What? No, I've seen Alice in Wonderland. This is a bad idea. Okay. Whoa! Wait. What's going on? Mommy, we're in a cage! Duh! I told you we'd be in a cage! Evil clown alert! Why are we locked in the cage inside this scary place? Um, because that was an evil clown and you guys all fell for it. I knew we shouldn't have trusted that clown. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. Relax! The fun is just beginning! <laughs> Who are you and what, what do you want from us? <laughs> just kidding. It's me, hey! Wait, what? Hazel, what are you talking about? I just didn't want you guys to leave me. You guys were all that I had. All that I had. This isn't right. Something's not right. Hazel, are, are, are you can't. Are you okay? I, I, I don't think you can do this. It's, it's not okay. Then you leave me no choice but to kill you all. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Ah! 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 Evil clown! Oh my gosh, I just died! Okay, that's okay. I just need to pay uh 35 Robux and I come back to life. Yay! Okay. Ah! The, ah! There's a, a minion clown after me! No, no, just no. Okay, I need my bat. Wow, ah, don't push me over the edge. Where's my bat? Here we go. Whoa, Daisy, you, you killed that clown! He was evil, Molly. We actually got them. Correction, Molly, I got them. Guys, quit fighting. Whoa, 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 what was that? I don't know, but where are all of our siblings? They're gone, Molly. They're gone. We have to use these rocks to get out of here now. Okay, here we go. It's kind of like an obby, so everybody be careful. Unless you have 30 Robux, bucks, and then you can probably pay to survive. Now what should we do? Well, Molly, we should probably panic! Ah, I'm panicking, Molly, panicking! There are two paths. We have to choose the right one. Daisy, quit panicking. Well, until we choose the wrong path, then, you know. Whoa! Oh, wow. Daisy, are we the only ones that made it? We might be, Molly. We might be. Daisy, is that lava? Oh! G. I know, Molly, this is not good. This is not good at all. You stink at Abby's. We're gonna die. Daisy, quit being so dramatic. Well, we have no choice but to cross the lava. Good luck, Molly. You're gonna need it. Hey, I'm not that bad at Abby's. You sort of are, Molly. You sort of are. Here goes nothing. Whoa. Whoa. You're doing it, Molly. Just be super careful. 
I'm trying to be Daisy, but this is not easy. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, I have to. Whoa! The, oh my god! It sinks into the lava and, and, and then you die. Yeah, it does, Miley. Get going. No, but. Ah, no, I died at the last minute. Are you serious? That's so not cool. Okay. Okay, game developer. You literally have made so much money off me right now. It's okay, Miley. At least you got a heal and you survived that evil Hazel. Yeah, but we might be the only ones. We are! We're the only ones from the orphanage to survive. Daisy. Uh, Daisy? Hazel's gotten a little bit crazy. I can't believe how rude you guys are! Whoa, talk about us being rude. This is your last chance to obey me. We said no. Leave us alone, psycho big baby. Well, you must defeat me if you want to be free. Um, okay, Daisy, this is the part where we're probably gonna die. Don't say that, Molly. Try to stay, try to stay sane. I am, but she's shooting lava at me. Uh-oh, Daisy, I think we better jump on these rocks. What is that? I think it might be baby doo-doo, but I'm not sure. Ew, gross. Smack her with your back. Hurry! You're rude, Hazel! Take that! And that! And that! Whoa! Molly, here comes more of the lava! Get out of it! Oh my gosh! Jump on the the rocks! Okay, Daisy, we're okay. We're okay. Ew, Molly, look at this. It's gross. Okay, time to go smack her! Don't you dare! We are! We're gonna take that and 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 that! Okay, Daisy, run! I'm on it, Molly! I'm on it! Ah! So much lava! So much lava! No more lava! Please, no more lava! Yes! Okay, so far, the boss's health is halfway down. Molly, we can do this. We're sisters forever. Agreed, Daisy, agreed. Take that, you evil monster. Oh, that hurts. Why are you doing that? Because you're evil, duh. Why else would we be? Whoa, okay, here comes more lava drips. Oh my God, where's the stones? There they are. Daisy, get on a stone, quick. Daisy's health is halfway. I'm gonna be okay, Molly. And if not, go on without me, okay? Daisy, I can't go on without you. You're my only family. Take that, evil. Take that. Daisy, we're gonna do this. Yes, we defeated her. Daisy. Uh, fine. You guys win. <laughs> Sorry, I never wanted this to happen. Well, you had a funny way of showing it. I'm just so lonely without you guys. So you turn into an evil clown? No, I don't think so. That's just wrong. You need to go to prison. Maddie, try to be nice. -o. Hazel, it's okay. You just need to move on with your life. And probably need some counseling. Why don't we just move on with life together? Because we were adopted by great parents, duh. Fine, you can choose. Me or the adopted parents? Um, I'm going back to the adopted parents. Sorry, Hazel, you're crazy and um, also insane and also evil. Agreed, Maddie. She's totally evil. I miss them so much. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. <sighs> They'll come back. I, I know they will. <laughs> I'm so sad. Hey, Mom and Dad. We're back. Kids. Oh, my gosh. Welcome back. Nothing will ever separate us ever again. I can't believe they didn't choose me. I can't believe it! Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters who both wanted to adopt babies. There was Laura, who was always happy, and there was Dora, who was always grumpy. The two of them wanted more than anything to adopt a baby of their own. And this is their story. I cannot wait to adopt a baby. This is going to be amazing, Dora. You won't be a better mom than I am, Laura. I'm going to be an amazing mom. I'm going to be an amazing mom too, Dora. No, because I'm popular and you're not. Well, what does being popular have to do with anything? I have been popular since high school and it's going to mean that I'm super good at being a mom. Uh, Dora, I don't think it has anything to do with that. Well, we'll just see who the better mom is, okay? Okay, Dora, if you really want to. La, 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 la. Oh, hello, new clients. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Laura, and this is my twin, Dora. Whoa, you guys look so much alike. I don't think we look alike at all. Really? You both have blonde hair. I mean, your faces look almost identical. Well, sort of. I have the pretty face. You mean you have the grumpy face, Dora. What did you say, Laura? Nothing, Dora. Oh, you guys even act like twins. What can I do for you today? 
We're both here to adopt. Oh, well, that's great news. Well, but there's some bad news, too. What? Bad news? What? Um, we only have one child left to adopt. Okay, well, it'll be mine then. Oh, <laughs> well, there's two of you and there's only one child. Well, Laura didn't want to be a mom that much anyway. What? Yes, I did, Dora. Don't say that. Well, why don't you guys meet the child and maybe she'll help you decide who should be her mom. Great idea. Let's meet her. Ooh, it's the toy hippo. I love that. Hi, hippo. Hi, Hippo. Oh, you're so cute. You're my favorite. Even if it does look like you're eating my hand. Ah, stop eating my hand. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Whoa. <laughs> you have a lot of personality, don't you? Who are you? I'm you. I'm Dora. I'm going to be your mom. Wait, what? Dora? She she doesn't even know us yet. Don't say you're going to be her mom yet. She, she, she'll get scared. What? Are, are you guys here to adopt me? Um, Molly, they're just here to meet you right now, honey. Um, but there's two of them and only one of you. Uh, yeah, I see that. So, so what's going on? Brittany, I, I don't like this. It, it's making me scared. I want to stay here with you, Brittany. Oh, Molly, you know you can't stay at the adoption center forever. Don't you want a mommy of your own? I want you to be my mommy. Oh, that's so sweet, Molly, but I just work here. You should... See if you like Laura or Dora. You can choose which one you want to be your mom. Okay. I'll try it, Brittany. Okay, listen up. If you're going to be my mom. Whoa, this kid has an attitude. We're going to have to take care of that. Well, she's probably just scared, Dora. You're going to be my mom. You got to be nice. You got to give me ice cream. And you, and you got to change my diapers. What? You're not potty trained? You can already talk. Why aren't you potty trained? Okay, you don't have to do that. I am potty trained. I was sort of wanting a baby. You're kind of grown up for me. Okay, well, I guess I can't choose a mom then because you don't want to be my mom. I could be your mom. I have a better idea. Why don't we each take her home and spend a day with her? And whoever she likes best, she can choose as her mom. Actually, Dora, that's a great idea. You think so? You're totally going to lose. Ah, Dora, it's not really a competition. It's just to see who's the best mom for this little girl. What's your name? My name's Molly. Well, I'm Laura. But hopefully someday you'll call me mom. I'm Dora. You can call me Dora. Okay, Dora. I'll call you Dora. Well, who is going to take Molly home first? I'll take Molly. I always go first because I'm amazing. Now leave that silly hippo here. I don't want to leave Hippo here. Actually, she can take Hippo with her. No, she's too old for that toy. Come on. Okay. I guess I don't have to take Hippo with me. Goodbye, Hippo. You've meant the world to me. Ah! Oh, this is going really well, Dora. I'm sure she's going to choose you. Be quiet, Laura. She likes me, okay? Now, come on. Hurry up. Keep up. I'm trying, but my legs are shorter than yours, Dora. Whatever. That's such a lame excuse. Okay. I have to go shopping, so you can come along with me. Ooh, are we going to go shopping for toys? Not a chance, brat. Why are you calling me brat? Oh, I said that, like, very lovingly. Come on, brat. I don't know if I like her calling me brat. That's not very nice. Oh, look. <laughs> Everything's on sale. It's just perfect. Ooh, I love that shirt. Um... Dora, could, could I have some new clothes? The orphanage doesn't have many outfits for me. No? What do I look like made of money? I don't have money to buy you clothes and me. And if it comes to you and me, it's definitely going to be me that buys stuff. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just go wait outside and get some fresh air. Ooh, a park. And Dora, 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 Dora. What? I'm trying to shop and you're being really annoying. What do you want? Um, can we go to the park when you're done? Please, please, please. No, I'm busy. I'm thinking about going to get an ice cream. I'm super hungry. Ooh, ice cream, my favorite. Come on, brat, let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Look both ways, duh. You don't want to get hit by a car, do you? Uh, not really. Okay, you can get in my golf cart. Golf cart? You don't have a real car? This is a real car. It's what the popular people drive around Brookhaven. Whoa, doesn't have a seatbelt, though. That seems kind of dangerous. Well, I didn't think I was going to have a kid so soon. Oh, there's the ice cream shop. Oh, that looks so delicious. I'm going to get one of every flavor. 
Well, come on, brat. Can we go to the arcade afterwards, please, Dora? Please, please? I haven't been out of the orphanage ever. No, sorry. This isn't like your special day out or something. What? No one's even working here? Well, I'll just take what I want then and leave the money. So rude. No one's even working. Mm, this is delicious. Uh, Dora, you forgot something. Oh, yeah. I forgot to put sprinkles on my ice cream. Pfft, duh. No, Dora. You forgot about me getting an ice cream. I don't have enough money for both of us to get an ice cream. Oh, are you going to share yours with my me? Absolutely not. Someone else licking your ice cream is the grossest thing ever. Ew. Now come here and sit down and be quiet, brat. Oh, look at the time, Dora. It's time for me to get back to the to the orphanage. Your time is up. What? It's only been two hours. I know, but um, see you later. Brat, come back here. You can't walk on your own. Get back here. I know my way. Oh, my gosh. She was like the worst mom ever. Huh, huh, oh, my gosh. I'm so glad that this is over with. I just want to go see Brittany. Brittany! Molly, how was your day with Dora? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not leaving the orphanage ever! Oh my gosh. I knew this was going to be the case. Molly, I promise I'm not like my sister. She's just evil. Yeah, she is. You're both evil twins. Brittany, don't make me go. Molly, maybe, maybe Laura isn't like Dora. Can you just give her an hour or two to try it out? I don't know. Your twin is evil! I know she is. She's so a brat. But I promise, Molly, I'm not like that. Um, okay. I guess I'll go with you. But only for an hour! Wow, an hour? That's a pretty tall order to have me show you that I'm going to be a great mom in an hour. But here goes nothing. Hmm. When I was little, I loved going to the park and swinging on the swings. Do you like to do that? I don't know. I've never been to the park before. I live in an orphanage. Oh my gosh. That's so sad. Come on. I'll show you how. You still know how to swing on a swing even though you're a grown-up? Of course I do. I still have fun, you know. Whoa! Laura, this is so much fun! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting dizzy. It's best to get off if you get dizzy, Molly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow, the swing hit me! Ah! Oh, Molly, are you okay? Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry you you got hurt on the swing. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Do you need a Band-Aid? No, I'm okay. Thanks for asking, though. Aw, it's okay. So, um, do you, um, need anything? What do you mean? Like, um, maybe some lunch? Ooh, lunch would be great. Or, or dinner, since it's getting kind of late. Yeah, I guess your time with Dora did take a lot of time up during the day, huh? It is time for dinner. Let's go to the Brooks Diner. Oh, I always wanted to eat there. Look both ways, brat. What? What'd you say? Oh, that's what Dora said. Look both ways, brat. She called you a brat? Yeah. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry you had to, to go through that. Everything's going to be okay now, though. You seem really nice. You seem really nice, too. What are you going to order? I don't know. I just miss my hippo. Well, good thing I brought him along. <gasps> you brought my hippo? Oh my gosh, thanks so much. You shouldn't have to live without your stuffed animal. That's just mean. How's burger and fries sound? Delicious. Mmm, this is really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love this diner. It's my new favorite place to eat. I mean, I've only ever ate at the orphanage before, but mm, this is really good. I have to agree, it is pretty delicious. Well, what should we do now, Molly? Do you want to go pick out some new clothes? Really? Dora took me there, but she said I couldn't pick out anything. Well, I'm nothing like my evil twin sister. Come on, let's go. Oh, wow, Molly. The hour's almost up. We have to hurry. We'll have to go on a super fast shopping spree. Look both ways, brat. Come on, Molly. Don't let anyone call you a brat. You're not a brat. But definitely look both ways. Wow, you're taking me to the Rockstar store? That's amazing. Yeah, let's pick out a brand new outfit for you. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. Look at this alien outfit. This is so cute. Well, you can buy that if you want, Molly. What else do you like? Um, no, that's too grown up. Um, oh my gosh, this is cute too. And I need new pajamas. 
Okay, well, we'll take all three of these, please. Okay, let me just package that up for you. I'm gonna wear this one, okay, Mom? I mean, Laura, did you just call me Mom? Um, yeah? Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy! Okay, well, our hour is up. Come on, we have to go, Molly. Okay! Back to the orphanage I go. Molly, you're back! How did it go? I see you got a new outfit. Wow, that's amazing! Yeah, I had a great time! Of course she did. I knew she'd pick me. I'm the world's best mom. What? No, you're not, Dora. You're a terrible mom. I would never pick you if you were the last person on the planet. What? Don't talk to me like that, you little brat. Don't talk to my daughter that way, evil twin. What? She's not your daughter. Yes, I am. She's my mom. Oh, Molly, you picked a mom? That's amazing. I'm going to miss you, Brittany. You were like my first mom or my sister or something. But I really like Laura, and, and she's going to be my mom forever. Well, all we have to do is fill out the paperwork then. I am so offended right now. Ugh, this is so annoying. You're the worst twin ever. Tell me about it, Dora. You're so evil. Goodbye, Dora. Goodbye! Wait a minute. Does this mean she's my aunt? Well, yeah, technically, but we don't really have to hang out with her very much. Just maybe for an hour on Christmas. Oh, man. Well, if it means you get to be my mom, Laura, I guess I'll have to endure it. I'm so happy that I made a match today. You guys are going to be the perfect mom-daughter team. I think so, too. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks, Brittany! Come on, Mom. Let's go home. <laughs>